Hello, my name is Naomi Hilliard and I run a sleep consultancy called Catching Little Dreams. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how we can reduce night wakes for your little one. Did you know that no baby is born knowing how to fall asleep? Falling asleep alone is a learned skill. And so actually it's up to us to help to teach our little ones to fall asleep independently. Some babies have a very laid back, chilled out personality, and they will take to learning how to fall asleep independently very easily. I, however, meet many animated personalities, so this personality might notice anything that moves and be very easily stimulated. For these babies, it's much harder for them to wind down their busy minds and settle to sleep. So personality is certainly a big factor when it comes to babies who require sleep training and others who don't. So we know we need to teach our baby how to fall asleep. So when we think about how your child falls asleep at bedtime, think to yourself, is there anything that my baby needs done for them or to them in order for them to fall asleep? If the answer is yes, they need something to happen, then your child isn't falling asleep independently and they don't know how to self-settle. So the key to reducing night wakes is identifying what is their sleep crutch. It could be a dummy going into their mouth. It could be a milk feed, cuddling, rocking, uh, just a parent's presence in the room might be all your little one is after in order to fall back to sleep. But identifying what that is, is really the key. Because once we can teach them to fall asleep without the sleep crutch, not only will they fall asleep independently at bedtime, they will then transition all their sleep cycles in the night independently as well. So you can go from a night wake every hour, you might see your baby every hour in the night, to massively reduced night wakes. And sleeping through really does depend on age and how many solids they are having in the day and also their milk intake. So we have to be realistic that there may still be a need for feeding in the night. But if you've got to the age where you think that isn't necessary and they are still waking, then my homework for you is to identify what is it that your little one needs in order to fall back to sleep. If you would like some help with how to transition away from that sleep crutch, then that is what I offer in my sleep clinic. So follow along Catching Little Dreams on Instagram or take a look at my website, catchinglittledreams.co.uk for more information. For more information on topics on your little ones, follow Your Baby Club for more information.